Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for Sons of the Forest, but these are going to be some unusual ones rather than the usual, and hopefully they'll be a bit random, like not chucking logs at your friends, that's a pretty pro tip, and then you've got other things of interest as well here too. So there are a lot of different things that you can do in Sons of the Forest, and one of them is obviously dealing with the cannibals, but did you know that their body parts have various uses? For example, you can pick up their skulls and shake them to... <laughs> scare off other cannibals and show your dominance. One of the things that's interesting there is you'll also notice that I'm wearing skin on top of my skin, which is pretty weird. So what you'll find is when you come into attacking various cannibals around the world, and there are a lot of different types, that when you kill them, you can then skin them sometimes. So you'll find that they'll drop wallets, skin pouches, more on that in a little while, but you can also do other things with them, including throwing their body on the fire, which has its uses, and not just for cooking them for eating, if you want to embrace the cannibal lifestyle, but more. You'll also find some of them you'll actually take your knife to and cut body parts off of them, and then you can convert that into this creepy armour that you'll find in your inventory. You have to turn to the right slightly to open your inventory and look at the right position in it, and then you can apply that creepy armour. Essentially what you've done is put skin on top of your own skin. So you can see one of my friends here wearing some on his arm and leg, and obviously the more you have the better because it will equip to the various body parts on you and you can see that he's only covered a couple of bits but later on we managed to nearly cover our entire bodies in skin which is kind of weird so you have a layer of skin now there are things that you can do with multiple different sort of body parts or different types of armor so you'll see that in here there's an option to craft bone armor and so in the inventory, you have the option to use tape, rope, and femur bones. And you can use those and then connect them together to then create a different type of body armor that you can then strap to yourself. You will have seen already that one of my friends was wearing bones on his arms, for example. So you can strap these bones to your arms to create a shield. So you have different sorts. There's also a leaf armor. There's all sorts of different armor types. But it's interesting because it basically means that you can keep collecting things. Now, one of the ways that you can do this is by burning corpses. So what you want to do is when you've killed a cannibal, you can basically throw them on a the fire and their body will start to burn. And eventually the burnt body will decompose into bones. And then you can pick up the bones and the skulls. And they have different uses because you can turn a skull into a weapon or like a warning spike at the edge of your camp. You'll notice that once you've got a body, you can hack at it with your axe and then chop off the various body parts. So if you want to separate the head, for example, for use there, then you can do that and you can lop off various different bits. It's kind of grim, but it does work in various different ways. As I've shown already, shaking the skull around, for example, is one use case. You can obviously also cook the meat and then if you're really desperate, you can eat that. There doesn't seem to be any negative implications of doing so at the moment. So you can become a cannibal if you're having trouble with the food sources. Once you throw it on the fire, it will then cook down and then eventually turn into bones. And then you can obviously use it for those other things. Now, putting out a stick, so quicking a stick into your inventory and then a skull, you can then put the skull on top of the stick in the ground at the edge of your base as like a warning not to come near we seem to find that you need to put out lots of these before they become effective and they're not that great. The next one is interesting because we've seen this lady with three arms and three legs in a bathing suit randomly in the woods. And the first instance of seeing her, we just brutally murdered her because, let's face it, that was pretty creepy. Actually, what you need to do is not do this. So don't kill her if you see her. Don't freak out. She actually is interesting and potentially useful. What you need to do is actually befriend her, not scare her off with your weapons point at her, but to find her and give her things. So we found that you could put things in her if you go up to her. You can basically, without your weapons out, you can go into her inventory and you can start giving her stuff. So you'll see that she's got a GPS locator. And I also managed to give her a camouflaged outfit. So instead of a swimsuit, she's now a bit camouflaged. You'll notice that if you talk to her, you can then also equip her with other things, including weapons, which might seem dangerous. But in future, hopefully, she'll then be useful in some ways because she does actually seem to basically bring you stuff. Eventually, she starts coming into your camp and sitting with you, but she also just sort of turns up with random herbs and things like that that could be useful. So I think that you could basically just keep equipping her with things and then she'll like repay the favor by bringing you gear. So that could be useful. Obviously, you've already got the AI in the base that can help you out too. 
Now, another tip is for when you're loading the game, because you might find if the game is crashed or if you're loading in again, that these cutscenes are annoying because you can't skip them. You've probably pressed space bar and escape and enter to try and get rid of it. What you need to do is just press and hold S. So that's the good news. You can skip this cutscene. Just press and hold S. There's nothing on the screen to tell you that. So you have to do it first and then it'll start to show you that you can go through that process. It makes life so much easier. It's probably the best tip in this video. So when you've killed enemies, you'll find that they have skin pouches, which is essentially a wallet or a little bag. So they've obviously killed someone else and then made their skin into a wallet, which is pretty gross. Mm. But in those skin pouches, you'll find various things. If you go into your inventory, you can open them up and it will bring stuff out of the skin pouch and put it in the inventory. What I found, though, is if you collect too much stuff in your inventory, sometimes you can't open those skin pouches because your inventory is already full of stuff that's contained within the skin pouches. But one good thing that I'd recommend doing, especially if you've got a couple of friends that have stayed at the base and basically been spending all their time constructing the base, is if you go up to your friends, look at their backpack and press and hold E. You can then open your own inventory. You can start chucking stuff from your inventory into theirs. You can press Q and R to cycle through the various bits of your inventory, and then you can chuck stuff into their bag. So you can see I've got quite a lot of different random bits of loot here. But one of the things I've done is I've also shared out the skin pouches. So I had a big collection of skin pouches, which I couldn't open because I had too much stuff as it was, you can see here. So basically, I just ended up chucking the skin pouches into my friend's bags so that they then had extra loot and they had the benefit of that. So where they've just been staying at the base, they've now got some good stuff. Next tip is for the GPS locator. Obviously, if you press M, that opens up this little GPS tool and then gives you access to find things in the world. You'll see the little flashing green indicators on the map sort of important points of interest exclamation marks are the same you'll also find cave entrances this way so this little tool is really useful you can also use it to find rivers and that is worthwhile doing because what you want to do is set up a base next to a river if possible that way you've got access to fresh water and fish also if you middle mouse click into the gps you can zoom in and out which is pretty handy my final tip which hopefully you've discovered already by now is that you can actually just interact with things by pressing E. Just tap it lightly to pick them up rather than accidentally eating raw fish by pressing and holding. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.